There are numerous diseases that affect the health of your orchard. Cankers cause wood injury and get progressively worse from year to year. If they aren't removed, they can cause branch or tree death and could spread disease throughout the orchard. Canker management is important to ensure the health of your orchard. There are two different causes for wood cankers seen in homachal apples. One cause of wood death is winter sun exposure that removes cold hardiness and results in chilling injury on the sun-facing wood of the lower trunk and branches. The resulting dead wood may be colonised by saprophytes or canker pathogens. Winter sunburn and frost damage can be prevented by the use of white paint or lime wash to deflect the light and prevent heat absorption on the sun-facing side of the tree. Pathogenic cankers are caused by a range of fungi and bacteria which typically infect through wounds. There are many fungal cankers including pink, nailhead, European, silverleaf and stem black. Bacterial cankers of apples and pears include blister bark and fire blight. This video focuses on tree cankers associated with wound infections. Throughout the apple growing season, a tree is wounded in different ways, such as picking scars caused at harvest, leaf scars from leaf fall in autumn, and winter sunburn injuries. Other wounds include breaks from wind damage, abrasions from hailstones, insect holes and, most importantly, pruning cuts. It's possible to decrease the disease risk to the tree by using wound protection at the time the damage occurs. Use of hail nets will prevent damage to both apples and wood and provide some wind protection. To decrease disease risks from pruning cuts, Use pruning paint or paste applied as soon as possible after pruning and before any rainfall. While wound protection is important, the most powerful tool for preventing disease is reducing spore sources and numbers. Without a spore inoculum source, there is no infection, which means no disease. Inoculum management or sanitation involves removing cankers from the trees and inoculum sources like cankered prunings from the orchard. Regular monitoring to identify cankers on the tree is important and should occur throughout the year and during day-to-day -day tasks. If you see a possible canker and can't treat it immediately, mark the tree and or canker with paint, tape or a ribbon. Trained staff can then either cut out or scarify the canker back to clean wood or remove the affected branches. Wounds should then be protected with pruning paint or pastes and diseased wood removed from the orchard. Knowing what disease is causing the canker is less important than the removal of the infection from the tree and orchard. Most cankers will grow and produce spores all year round. Rain, and for some pathogens, insects, will spread spores throughout the orchard, creating an infection event. Only a few spores are required to cause a tree infection. Once a wound is infected, it can take weeks, months, or even years for the disease symptoms to show. This is why wound protection and regular canker monitoring and removal is so important. It can take years to bring a cankered orchard under control. To understand disease progression in your orchard over the years, it is recommended to keep good records and orchard maps. This will help you know where your infected trees are and if your canker management is successful or if you need to remove cankers more often. Remember, the most powerful tool is inoculum management or sanitation. Detect, cut back to healthy wood, paint and dispose of diseased wood. No spores, no infection, no disease.